वैराग्य विद्या निज भक्ति शिक्षा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य शरीरचार्य प्रेज चैतन्य that you have come to teach the people devotion to yourself through vairagya renunciation and vidya knowledge per a acerjetema irjnoima so vairagya renunciation and vidya these are the two foundation stones of brahmacharya Brahmacharya gyvena do pagrindinė principa tik kaip a viskas atsiradėme sužinojimas yra tarsi pagrindas. Is a life of renunciation, tera atsiradėme gyvenimas, living of sense gratification, tera viskas nutraukti su sutinės pastaiga. Uh, for the purpose of cultivating higher knowledge. E tam tiksliu kad išudytum apštesnį žinojimą. Both by <coughs> studying Shastra, hearing Shastra, Arishka's studio and Shastra, Girvintya, and by uh, practically applying that knowledge in life. Ir praktiškai pritaikant tą žinojimą savo gyvenime. Knowledge is uh, spiritual knowledge is not simply a matter of learning. Vas nežinojimas tai nėra iš tik tai smoktis. But it is bestowed upon a disciple, submissive disciple, by the mercy of the Guru and Krishna. Tai sapraškimas Guru ir Krishnas nuvalo tą kamą knyją. Therefore, an essential ingredient in Ramachandra life also is submissiveness. Todėl vienas iš pagrindinių dalykų Ramachandra gyvenime taip pat yra nuvalkumas. Submissiveness to Guru and you know, more than this concept of being also to Guru's representatives. Reiškas nuvalkumas Guru ir Krishnas saminiai dar ir nuvalkumas Guru. Now, sometimes we hear about Krihasta Ramachandra also. Taip pat mes kartu skirdim apie Grihastas Brahmachandra. Because Grihasta is also one ashram. Todėl kad Grihastha irgi yra vienas iš ašramų. In which one is also supposed to be cultivated in spiritual life. Kurie ne irgi žmogus turi kultivuoti vasnį gyvenimą. However, within the Grihastha ashram, there is a license for sense gratification. Grihastha ashrame yra tam tikras veidimas lankyti jūsles. License means it's restricted. Reiškia, sleidimas reiškia apribotą. Griha medi life means a life only of sense gratification. Griha medi gyvenimas reiškia tai gyvenimas tik jūs pritaikyti. But a grihastha brahmachari he basically doesn't have a life of sense gratification. Bet grihastha brahmacharis iš tikrųjų negyvena gyvenimo kuris pritaikytas. Su that is not the aim and object of his household. Tai nėra tikslas, tai nėra nei tikslas nei objektas šio šeimininio gyvenimo. But some license is there for sense gratification. Bet yra tam tikras sleidimas lankyti. In some little However, in the Brahmachari ashram, there's no license. Reiškia, in the Brahmachari, reiškia, gyvenimą nėra, reiškia, jokio veidimo. There's only service. Yra tik tai starnyba. Now, Brahmachari means one who moves in Brahman. Brahmachari reiškia tas, kuris juda link Brahmana. Brahme charity iti Brahmacharya. So that means also who is absorbed in spiritual life. Tas kuris pasinėrės ir dvasinė gyvenimą. The derivation of the word brahmachari is very similar to the word brahmana. Sudarimas brahmachario žodžio yra labai panašus į žodį brahmana. Brahmana brahma janati ti ti brahmana. One who knows what is brahma the absolute truth. He is called a brahmana. Brahmanas yra tas žmogus, kuris žino Brahmana absoliučio tiesą. And Brahma Charity iti Brahmacharya, one who acts on the platform of the absolute truth. O Brahmacharya. O Brahmacharya tas, kuris, reiškia, veikia, reiškia, platformą, absoliučio platformą. Now, a Brahmacharya can live a life of submissiveness and renunciation if he is fixed in knowledge. Brahmacharyas gali gyventi atsižadėjimo ir žinojimo gyvenimą, tada jeigu jis yra, reiškia, If he's fixed in the knowledge that I am not this body, therefore there's no use trying to enjoy it anyway. Jeigu jis žino, kad jis nėra šis kūnas, tai nėra jokios prasmės tenkinti savo jūsės. By practicing renunciation, transcendental knowledge arises. Reiškia, praktikuojant atsižadėjimą, 
Gila Vaisnavas. Actually, not simply by practicing renunciation, but by, but by practicing renunciation under the guidance of a spiritually enlightened person, spiritual master. Ne tik šiaip paprastai gyvenant atsižudėjimo gyvenimą, bet tokį gyvenimą, kuris yra kontroliuojamas žmogaus, kuris yra dvasios šakšvietas. Otherwise, even many demons also practice renunciation. Nes iki to atveju daug demonų irgi praktikuoja atsižudėjimą. Irani Kashipu is a great demon, he is performing very severe austerities. Irani Kashipu yra dideris demonas, ir jis praktikuoja didelės įskėzės. And even we see materialistic people, they perform so many austerities. Working in factories, digging roads, it's all austere. But this kind of austerity does not in and of itself lead to knowledge, spiritual knowledge. But if one pr- practices Austerities, tapo divyam putrakam yena sabdham should yet chasmad brahma sokyam to nankam. Rishabh Dev says, one should practice divine austerities. Rishabh Dev sako, kad žmogus turi praktikoti dėviškas askezis. In the mode of goodness, by which one's existence can become purified. Ir tada tau žmogaus egzistencija gali būti nuskaitrinta. And then one can achieve Brahma Sokyam, the happiness of the absolute truth, divine bliss. Tada žmogus gali pasiekti dėvišką palaimą, tai yra, reiškia, žiaugsmų, sačios tiesiog žiaugsmų. So, Brahmachai like me is practicing austerities for the sake of developing spiritual knowledge. Taigi, Brahmachai gyvenimas, reiškia, tai yra, reiškia, atvykimas askezijo, kad įgauti dvarsinį žinojimą. And when one is actually situated on the platform of spiritual knowledge by realization, then there is no need to practice austerity or renunciation because automatically these will arise within the heart. Asudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita Janyat Yashuvaya Yam Gyanam Chaya Bhaktika. One who practices devotional service to him, to such a person, uh, knowledge and renunciation automatically manifest by the grace of Krishna. So a Brahmachari, he is able to remain renounced if he's actually getting a taste. Of Krishna consciousness. Previously in this scorn, there was an idea that Brahmacharis they should all remain Brahmacharis. It's a very good idea. We should revive this idea. Practically speaking, we we have seen over the years most brahmacharis don't remain brahmacharis. At least not brahmachari brahmacharis. They may be grihastha brahmacharis. No, bento bento net grihastha brahmacharis nishne. Of course, it's not that it's, it's not possible to remain brahmachari. Yeah, irashko ni mano ma ilikte brahmachari. But it's possible only if one is very determined. And if he's, if he's convinced that material life stinks. The problem is we're not convinced. Therefore we see most brahmacharis, even if they're seriously practicing, mostly it seems that they get married. Todėl mes matom, kad netgi brahmačiariai, kurie atrodo rimti, praktikuoja dažnai jie neda. It doesn't mean that if one gets mad, he's not a serious devotee. Tai nereiškia, kad jeigu jis jį veda, tai jis jį nėra rimtas atsitojęs. But it may be that he's just seeing what is his actual position and what he needs to do to make advancement. Ar jis žiūri, kokia yra jo dabartinė padėtis ir jis jį gal žiūri, kaip toliau progresuoti. Family life is generally considered a compromise. 
Not in the sense that I was talking about compromise this morning in the class. In the lecture this morning I was discussing compromise. That means compromise is deviation. So getting married is not a deviation. But it generally is a compromise with the uh, intense life of Krishna consciousness because there is some license for relaxation. But many people or many brahmacharis find that they consider they can't go on throughout their life in the brahmacharya ashram. It may not be directly the uh, the sex impulse over and above everything, although usually that is a major factor. But it may be things that uh, just you find it difficult to have to submit all the time. But uh, Or you may find it difficult to live in a room with ten other people. Although in family life you usually you know usually end up with the same thing anyway. And if you get two kids, they're at least as noisy as one kid as noisy as five brahmacharis. So it ends up being the same. So it ends up being the same thing anyway. But uh, there may be uh, there may be various reasons. One, in the sense that you know you want a little independence, uh, freedom to choose as you like what to do with your life. Although that's usually a big illusion. Because usually you don't choose what you do with your life, your wife chooses. Or economic necessity chooses. Maybe I'll get a job as a racing driver or a film actor, but you end up sweeping the roads. So you might think, well, you know, Brahmacharya life has so many inconveniences, but there are inconveniences in every ashram. Personally, I consider the Brahmacharya ashram the best for making spiritual advancement. Better than sannyas. Really? In brahmachari life you can remain very humble. Brahmachari Just a Just a brahmachari. I want to take very seriously. Um, if you're a sannyasi, it's, it's difficult to remain humble. You see, I'm, see, I'm sitting above you, right? What made me so great that I'm sitting above you? And people are serving me. Well, Brahmachari people don't, they don't come to serve me. <laughs> and in Brahmachari life, uh, if, you, if you don't get involved in management, which you may be, you don't usually have anything to do with women. I mean, practically, as a as a brahmachari, I never had anything to do with women except when I was in management. But after I took sannyas and as accepting disciples, then you know, women disciples are there also. And you get involved in people's family lives and their social lives. People want you to come to their homes and, you know, eat something and bless their babies, pat their baby on the head. 
Ir tada esu įtraukimas iš neminių nusireiko, bet ateitė prankyčiaimas, palaiminti mažus vaikus, ant galvos patėti ant rankrą. So apparently speaking, the best ashram to make me spiritual life, advance with the spiritual life is Brahmacharya. Iš tikrųjų, geriausias reiškas, geriausias ašramas kultuvot vasinį, tas nežinojama Brahmacharya. It's best for remaining humble, geriausia išlikti nuo lankiam šiandien. For performing humble service, atlikti nuo lankia tarnybą. For remaining simple, išlikti paprastam. Generally people don't come to you with all their complex problems. Dažniausiai pas tave neatina žmonės su savo labai kompleksuotam problemom. You live a very simple life. Gyveni labai paprastą gyvenimą. Whatever prasad is there, you take. Yra prasadai, jums paėmė. If there is a space on the floor, you can sleep on it. Jeigu yra vietas ant grindų, kai jėgi. You don't have to worry about paying taxes, getting your children educated. Tai nereikia rūpintis dėl mokasčių mokėjimo arba dėl vaikų šaukų. You don't have to worry about your children, about your daughter becoming pregnant at the age of 13. Jums nerūpė, kad reiškiasi iš nesiaudinio, kad jūsų tikra dėlikos metų nešė tampa. Or about your children, you thought your boy was going to be a pure devotee, but he became a heroin addict instead. Arba reiškia tai siaudinio, kad netaps jūsų vaikas tiru atsitavusi. Not to worry about these things. Nereikia dėl to jaudintis. Very nice life. Labai fauna žmonės. You can cut the vegetables, wash the pots, and do all these nice things. Gali šlautintis, reiškia, valyti dar žovės. So it's very nice if you stay from the channel. Uh, even if you don't, you take that spirit into your Grihastha life, and your Grihastha life will be very nice. Ir kad jeigu jums neišina to padarytis, jie ne tik grįvęsko sašymą, bet su tą notai, kad tada labai pavyksta tas sašymas. Pramačiai basically means he is serving, always serving. Pramačiai reiškia iš tikrųjų tarnybą, nuo tarnauja. Always serving the Supreme Lord, Krishna, Guru and Vaishnavas. Visą laik tarnauja Krišnai, Guru ir Vaishnavą. If you take that mood into Grihastha Ashram, it's very nice. Jeigu jūs tokią nuotaiką perkelėti Grihastha Ašramą, yra pikų. Instead of becoming a false, imitative enjoyer of this material world. Bet tai to, kad optumėt kažkokio, ne, reiškia, paviršutiniško, reiškia, materialiaus įdėlimo pasitėsitengintui. Maintaining the taste for renunciation. Ir išlaikant, reiškia, atsižadėjimui, skonį atsižadėjimui. Even though there's some license for sense enjoyment, you don't understand it. The aim is to go into family life. The aim is to go in with the aim of coming out. Nepasant to, kad yra kažkoks tai leidimas, jūs taškai tenkištis, bet jūs turite su tokiu tekslu įeiti grįvęs kašamus, tokiu tekslu, kad jūs jau išėjai. In due course of time. Tam tikram laiko darbe. And also, one should have the habit of regularly studying. Ir žmogus turi išvystyti tokį, reiškia, potraukį nuolą atstudijuoti, įkrauti nuolą atstudijuoti. There's no real meaning to Brahmachai life unless you are regularly studying Shira Prabhupada's books. Nėra reikšmės Brahmachai gyvenime, jeigu jūs nesudėjot Šilas Prabhupada's reguliariai knygų. Take advantage now. Taigi, dabar pasinaudokit progą. You may not get so much chance in future. Gal jums ateiti neturėsit tiek daug šansų. If you're going to take sanyas, that's very nice. Jeigu jūs galvojat priimti sanyasą, tai jau bėgiai. I said Dhamachai life is very nice for one's own development, but for preaching, sanyas, some devotees should become sanyasas. Dėl savo asmeninio dvasinio, reiškia, salygio, nu, kelimo pragmačio regėjimas yra geriau, bet dėl pamokslavimo tai yra, kai kas turėtų tapti vis dėl to sanyasas. So, Dhamachai life is a life of preparation. Taigi, pragmačio regėjimas yra pasirašymo gyvenimas. Prepare to preach. Pasiruošti, pamokslauti. Now. Dabar. Brahmačiari. Dabar ne, brahmačiari gyvenime. Prepare yourself to be an ideal grihasta. Arba pasiruošti būti idealių grihaską. Or prepare yourself to be a sanyasi. Arba pasiruošti tapti sanyasi. Even if you don't officially take sanyas. Net jeigu. If you adopt the mood of a sanyasi, then it's more good. Jeigu jūs net oficialiai nepriimat sanyasas, bet turit sanyasas mūdę, nuotai ką tai labai gerai. It doesn't mean that you announce to everyone, well, I adopted the mood of the sanyasi, so now you should wash my cloth. Bet tai nereiškia, kad vat aš turiu sanyasi, reiškia nuotai, kad tai dabar tu turi mano drabužius pravo. Sanyas means to give up personal desires for the sake of preaching Krishna consciousness. Sanyasa reiškia atsikratyti asmeninių. Noru, kad pamokslat Krišnos sąmonę. 
So now you have the chance to take up those things. Tego jest dobra, który w szansę uczynić to dobre intencje. W future you may not get them. A ty tylko rozpana gałsta taką szansę. You may not get the chance to become absorbed in shastra in the same way that you have in brahmacharya. A ty ty jest interesy taką szansę to się nie szastra z kilku tyrii od brahmacharya dziwnego. So it's the opportunity to study. Tego jest dobra, studio kiedy to się nie da kiedy poroga. Don't look for sense gratification. Look for the chance to study properly. Nie żyje, kiedy ty reszka z dwustu pastanki nie ma studio, kiedy próbowałeś kiedyś. Okay, there are many more things that could be said. Daria rada, daria bukur jest pasywna. Pretty much I said them all in the Brahmacharya book I made. Aż do kwa sakiego Brahmacharya knygu ty? Which I think probably most, I think anyone who's interested in Brahmacharya life must have read that one. Aż mam oko te kuria do mnie z Brahmacharya dziwne na jaskita. So are there any more questions about this? Daria, to jest moja trochę. Без чин, без, без, без каких-то мокрых кофе, без чин. Да, потому что просто есть такая слова, что надо просто заниматься безусловно, но не без чин, без чин. Ты знаешь, это шла по традиции Бага, когда мы практикуем девочную совести, конденсацию на ручках. Но, фактически, если мы только говорим, что мы занимаемся Uh, so can knowledge and renunciation comes only uh, cultivating devotional service without studying from Bhagavad When it said that knowledge comes, that, that means that uh, knowledge is revealed within the heart. Someone who reads Prabhupada's books but without a service mood The knowledge does not become manifest within their hearts. Now there are cases of great devotees like Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj, who from the external point of view was illiterate. But from his mouth all the Vaishnav Siddhantas would automatically manifest. He is a an eternally perfect devotee of the Lord, come from the spiritual world. We are sadhaks or devotees practicing to come to the perfect stage. Sadhak, yeah, means one who is practicing sadhana. So an important part of our sadhana is to study Shastra, to appear and study Shastra. So by doing that and by engaging in the other processes of devotional service, in the mood of devotion, then Krishna will be pleased to reveal realization of that knowledge within our hearts. Taip dar įdami, reiškia, studijuodami šastras ir kartu užsindami atsidavimo tarnybą per nystės nuotaikoj, mes patenkinsim Krišnę ir tokiu būdu Krišnas skleisimus iš irgi aš tą žinojimą. It may be that if one has a very strong service mood, that even without studying he can become advanced, but generally it's recommended for everyone to be not studied as much. Jei žmogu, jeigu atsidavęs turi labai stiprią per nystės nuotaiką, Jisai gali net ir nesudijodamas tapti pasiekti to bulumą, bet dažniausiai taip neatsitinka. Ir atsakoma, kad norint išlikti pragmažiarį, yra geriausia būtų pilingai, kad ir tam tiekui Maharaji atrodo, kad tai yra mano vakaros, iš jų pragmažiarį sudėlėjimą. Jo. Šiaip sakome, kad pojančiausiai indijai, o tiek vakaruose, kai mano malėra, ar nekai ne indijai. It is said that in order to become a pragmačiarai for all the life, it is good to go to India. And how is it possible to do that in the western countries? Certainly the atmosphere in India, even today, is more favorable 
for cultivating detachment and dhammachari life. Aš kūrinti ir atmosferai labai palanki, norint kultivuoti brahmačiarį ir atsižadėjimą. That's a fact. Tai yra faktas. How to do it if you're in the Western countries? Well, axiomatically you can't both be in the Western countries and in India, so how to do it if you're in the Western countries is you have to go to India. Aš you can't live in India if you're living in Lithuania. Mes, mes negalim, jeigu mes norim taip pasi, aišku, mes negalim būti vienu metu ir Indijoje ir Lietuvoje. Apparently, uh, Niranjan Maharaj, who is the GBC here also, the Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj, he's not very enthusiastic about sending devotees from here to India. Actually, many, many of our leaders from the West aren't very enthusiastic to send devotees to India. Are not. The thing is, because a lot of devotees they go to India and they just kind of space out. They mix up, space out. That's it. That word must be in it's Iskon Lithuanian. It's in, a, it's in Russian. Everyone in Iskon Russian means space out. It's international Iskon word. Uh, well, you know, they, they wander around and make themselves into a Babaji or some kind of vehicle. So that may be one of the reasons they're afraid of it. If you're going to India, you should have some fixed program of preaching. And a fixed authority. One of the five things forbidden in Kali Yuga is taking sannyas. And it is said for, straight and forward, clear that without interpreting, because we, we don't interpret. Mm. So the, before that there was a discussion. We, we see that uh, we don't interpret the Shimad Bhagavatam, but on the other hand, we uh, actually people take sannyasa, whereas in the Shastras it is written that in Kali Yuga it is forbidden uh, sannyasa because there was a discussion we said to the Christians that don't interpret. What? With Christians? No, no, no. In the Shimon Bhagavatam no. lecture, no. we devotees. Okay, all right, okay, I got the point. All right, now, sometimes in Shastra there may appear to be some contradictory things. For instance, most of the Vedas recommend Karma Kanda. Right in the Mahabharata, you'll find sometimes it's said that giving food in charity is the best. Sometimes it's said that giving knowledge in charity is the best form of charity. There is nothing better than this. And in the next chapter, it says, well, giving food is the best form of charity. There's nothing better than this. So there may be apparent contradictions in Shastra. Acharyas come to resolve these contradictions and give the correct understanding of the Shastra. Now also in Shastra it's recommended that everyone should take sannyas. Prabhupada often quoted Pancha Sautvang when I'm here after reaching 50 years. 
One should take divine the price to life, one should renounce. And uh, in Bhagavad Gita we see repeated discussion of sannyas by Sri Krishna. What is the actual nature of sannyas? What is the actual nature of sannyas? And we see that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who we know this verse because it was quoted in, in, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, it is spoken by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu quoted this on the point of uh, not killing of, of not killing cows. But then in the Vedas, the uh, cow killing sacrifices there. So Chaitanya Mahabhu, in discussing with Chan Kazi, resolved this contradiction. Now Chaitanya Mahabhu, who is the, uh, the goal of the Vedas, who is the original speaker of all the Vedas, he himself took sannyas in Kali Yuga. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is the Rapatsvedu, Shneketu, is the Rapatsvedu object, is the Kali Yuga Priyamas. While acting as an Acharya to teach us, he took sannyas. Vedamas ki Pacharya, Mokitamas Mus, is the Priyamas sannyasa. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvara Thakur described that actually there's no question of stopping sannyas because it is an intrinsic part of the Vanashram system. Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvara Thakur is the Sakoka. And sannyas, as conceived of by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that is very much needed. What is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's sannyas? It is asthaya paratmanishtam adhyasitam purvatamai mahabhi aham tarishami dhanam kaparam tamamukandam rin shivayada Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that following in the footsteps of many great devotees of the past, who fully took shelter of the Supreme Personality, I shall also dedicate myself in the service of Mukunda. And in this way, cross over the otherwise insurmountable ocean of Nessians. So this kind of sannyas is required. But then when it said sannyasa is one of the five items forbidden in Kali Yuga, then how do you understand that? So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasaitaka explained that this then refers to the misapplication of sannyas, specifically Mayavad sannyas. Real sannyas is always wanted. Real sannyas means to dedicate yourself in the service of Krishna. There's never to be stopped. But the imitative sannyas of the Mayavadis, which is causing havoc in human society, that should be stopped. Because in Kali Yuga there is so much cheating in the name of religion. And because most people are simply not fit for it. Yeah.